Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Nathan from My Crypto Paradise and in this video we will be looking at the Polkadot dot against the USDT. At the same time we will go through the dot against the Bitcoin, the price action on multiple time frames to understand the big picture as well as the short term price perspective. So first off we would like to draw your attention to the coin360. The cryptocurrency market is bleeding, just look at it, everything is in red. Stable coins obviously are at the same spot, but we have also XAM, Theta, Uni, well very few are in green, but the market is bleeding. We have a Bitcoin 8.5% loss, Ethereum 11% loss and Polkadot, which is a top 3 coin, well it's actually top 4, but if we just remove USDT, a stable coin, it will become a top 3. It has lost 8.5%, very same to the Bitcoin, so it seems like it follows the Bitcoin in that sense. And the big question is whether the uptrend will continue or whether the market will continue to bleed. If it will continue to bleed, how far the price might be declining? What are the support resistance levels? What we should be watching in terms of the price action? Now let's move to the trading view charts. And here we have the daily time frame for the dot against the USDT and there was this massive uptrend. There still is this massive uptrend and there was this massive support area formed near $4.1 and at some point in time there was this uptrend which has begun and if we apply the Elliott wave theory what we might be seeing is the completion of the wave 5. So in that case what is the next move is of course a correction to the downside and this could be an A, B and C correction and could be a pretty long and extended one. So what we have currently is the resistance formed at $19.4 and this means that from this bottom when the uptrend has started price has increased by 404%. Only in the last wave we had the growth of 170% against the USDT. So this is a massive gains for the Polkadot and it's time for the correction. And the correction of course can take place. I mean this would be reasonable, some bounce relief, just getting off all this buying pressure before the uptrend continues. Considering that we're in the long-term bull market, the uptrend has a high probability of continuation. Now the question is, how far the price might be correcting? Well, we all know that the usual cases are about 38% or 40%. So if we apply FIBs to the overall move to the upside and the very last wave, so we have two FIBs here, the most important level would Will be 38.2 because this is statistically the level where the price is it read raises. What we have now is 38.2 if I just remove one of the FIPS we can see that it's right there at the price of $13.34. We also have a 50% Fibonacci retracement based on the last wave to the upside. So one of the very likely scenarios is that we will have an ABC correction and from what it seems, if it will be only a 40% decline, then it will most likely look something like this. Because as we can see, there are two FIPS supporting this area. But at the same time, there is a possibility that we will move further down, potentially testing the cluster of these two FIPS or these two FIPS, which is near either $12 or $10. The $10 of course is extremely strong psychological level and can be definitely tested if this will be an extended correction. On another hand the wave 5 might be continuing because we had this rejection here of the 38.2 FIPS based on this last move and the alternative scenario would look something like that where we have wave A, B, and C where we will attempt to break below only spike lower and then price could be moving to the upside. So these are the potential scenarios for the move to the upside and if we look at the moving average just extend it so this could be this area and perhaps 
price will be testing it right there and then consolidation and then upside move all in all 13.34 or 14 dollars psychological level seems very reasonable downside support if we move to the four hour time frame we can clearly see that the double top has been formed and as long as price remains below this top the price will most definitely move to the downside further down in the worst case scenario of course we might be having this consolidation but we need to notice that there was this bearish divergence on the rci because price produced a new higher high but the rci produced a new lower high so this is the bearish divergence we broke below the previously made low and below the 50 simple moving average nonetheless we need to consider this rejection and it makes this area a consolidational zone where price could be also stuck and for some sort of trend we need to either break to the upside or the downside at this point in time considering we're having the bearish divergence probability is in favor of the downtrend and there was this rejection of the FIPS. what market usually likes to do is produce the spike below and then move to the upside so maybe we will be moving towards this moving average and in this case if there will be this spike below then consolidation testing the moving average and then price could be heading to the upside we can also apply a support uptrend trend line and we might assume that the price will be testing the support trend line in this case it will be a b c this scenario is also possible because there might be attempt to break below this low but it will be very important that the daily closing price will remain above 14.72 dollars which is the fibonacci support so overall we have stuck within this price range and there will be some attempts to break above or below most likely there will be attempts to break below if there will be confirmed breakout most likely we will test the 61.8 fips at 11 dollars and can be even going towards the 10 dollar psychological level corresponding to 78.6 fips for an uptrend to continue there must be a break above this resistance then pull back maybe some consolidation maybe extended pullback towards this area and then continuation as at this moment clearly this could be a correctional phase let's have a look at the dot against the bitcoin this is the daily time frame and as can be seen we have very similar price action in terms of the elliott waves we had wave one two three four and five so this could have been a completion of the wave five although there could be a continuation of course as long as this low holds near 42 and a half thousand satoshis this will remain a bullish trend but let's have a look at the lower time frame now right there what we have is the bearish divergence once again but at the same time we have approached the 50 simple moving average which is acting right now as the support which might result in a minor pullback and then continuation of the decline all in all the previously made top has been formed at 59.7 thousand satoshis which hasn't been tested and there is a possibility that there will be this retest and then correction now if we go to the lower time frame what we might be going through right now is an a b and c correction right now this could have been a double bottom and now price can potentially start rising towards this resistance the very important thing to confirm that it was an abc correction we need to have a break above this high in this case we are likely to have some consolidation and then continuation of the uptrend but as long as this high holds which is at 58,000 satoshis we are likely to have a range trading maybe there will be some sort of move to the upside consolidation and we can see that the moving average 200 period simple hasn't been tested and there might be this retest and even the breakout for now it is also clear that the previous level of support becomes the resistance which makes the nearest supply area near 53.6 thousand satoshis and back to the four hour chart considering that we had this clean rejection it is likely that there will be some pullback although 
we can see that the support became the resistance hasn't been broken there could be the spike above this level above this high here and this is one of the likely scenarios for this sort of move and in this case we will have not an abc correction but a wave one two three four and five and this could be completion of the first correctional phase then we might see another a b and c and then two more waves to the downside so basically one then again a b c and then yet again a move to the downside with a five wave move and this brings us to conclusion that price can potentially retest the support near 33,000 satoshis previously was the resistance very strong support then resistance resistance support could be retested as well for now we are in the correctional phase on the market most of the coins are in red and this tendency is likely to continue unless of course we will have break above this level and then we also need to break above the previously made high then this will be confirmation that the trend remains very bullish in the medium to short term in the long term it's still a bullish trend although the correction should be expected whether this could have been a completed correction or not we are yet to see but we definitely need to watch 54,000 satoshis resistance as well as 58,000 because this breakout could be that confirmation that the trend will continue so break and then continuation also wanted to share with you the chart for the volatility index of the bitcoin and as can be seen the trend line has been rejected and the volatility started to grow once again this might be increasing selling pressure or a buying pressure for the bitcoin it's yet to be seen but certainly moves are gonna get bigger if this tendency will continue and also let's have a look at the previously made analysis starting with the bitcoin cash against the bitcoin on this chart we can see the price remains within the box which means it's clearly a range trading for the bitcoin cash no breakouts no trend let's continue on watching moving on to tron against the bitcoin now if you remember this was the scenario that we did expect where the price will test this moving average and then there could be the rejection and move to the downside the most important part is that there was no break above the moving average and as long as the price is below the previously made high this will remain a bearish trend so there could be yet another wave to the downside towards this bottom or maybe even lower but as long as this resistance holds this is definitely a bearish trend let's have a look at the monero against the bitcoin based on our previous analysis price is stuck between the support and resistance which can be seen on the chart we had no break either above the resistance nor below the support for now it remains a sideways move a consolidational phase which is still ongoing we can see that the was this break above the resistance although there was no closing price above the previously made high which still validates the consolidation all right that's all for today ladies and gentlemen don't forget to take it easy and smooth and see you next time